Hello ladies, uh, finally finished my Le Cirque album, it's taken quite a while to do, it's a fairly big album, I've had lots of birthday parties and that going on lately and it's taken a lot longer than I'd hoped. This is made mainly with Le Cirque papers, I did use a bit of fashionista paper on the cover here and this is a bit of a thicker mulberry with a bit of a glitter to it that I used for the spine. I fussy cut out uh, some of the images here and used glossy accents on them and pop dotted them to make them show up a bit more. A little um, pebble here, a little swirl that I had in my stash and a flower with lots of glitter and that on it. I used a Tim Holtz swivel chain here, used a lot of the stamps from the 12 by 12 and glossy accented them and some charms here as well for the front cover. This album I wanted to be very interactive so it was fun for the children to look at. It's mainly for one of my grandsons, he's nearly five. On this page I've made a pocket, punched out a decorative edge here, glossy accented the Le Cirque on there and I have two tags in here that have other little tags inside them. Around these ones I've used um, stickles just to highlight some of it and just a photo on the back. Now this pulls out here so we have a lot more photo photos in here. Another pocket that's had a decorative edge to it. Just use the paper from the collection. Two more photos there. And then another pocket made here. Two more tags. This one's had a image fussy I fussy cut an image out and used glossy accents. And on this one I used glossy accent over just some of the um, images there to make them stand out. It's just two more photos. Oops. And on the next part, move this. It's another pocket. Just used one of the cutouts. Pop dots on there to make it stand up a bit more. Punched out a decorative edge on that pocket and then three tags here. Used glossy accents on all the fussy cutting images and just three more photos on the back. The next page, I made a little band here, set it up on a bit of red card stock and had two of the circus cutouts from the collection. I tend to not put this in right and I bend one of the pages. Uh, this is idea was taken from a box card. So you just open that up. I hope you can see in there. Um, two of the tags and glossy accented over those. As I said, I wanted this to be very interactive. So this is another reason it took quite a while to make as well. On to the next page. This is the tightrope walker. Took the efforts of myself one of my sons and my husband to work out how to get her to move. I just used a bit of stickles along here for the tightrope, cut out a bit from the paper, fussy cut the lady out and glossy accented her and then she just moves across here and reveals a clown jumping on the tightrope and he has stickles around him. On to the next page. Um, a circus tent. I will try to put 
the links to I'm like I, I got this image from a uh, tutorial I down, downloaded I will see if I can find the um, link for this and any of the other ideas I got off people I'll put the links down so I made the circuit cut out the circus tent put a brad up here four stamps on each corner and then when you swivel that you have a circus scene here cut all fussy cut all these out and glossy accented them made the two rosettes up here then when you pull that out you get a spot for two more photos push that back in over to the next page I made a flap with this on this one fussy cut add another image put it on some black card to stand out more glossy accents two smaller tags here that were cut from the paper collection and used glossy accents on the images then on the back I used one of the stamps and then used um, embossing powder on them just to make them stand out nicely. And then this part of it, a belly band here with just a cut out from the collection, drew some lines on it and um, it's used for a journaling spot. I did on all the edges I've um, put some distress ink around them. Made another pocket on this side. Two more tags. Now the clowns were from a basic grey set. So I put them on there. They come up quite good. Two more photos on the back. A tag from the collection. Just put a bit of ribbon in it and glossy accented the elephant over to this page I got the idea for the cage from Claire in England I'll put a link to her album on there cut this out from the paper line added a couple of rosettes there used some of this ball chain um, we have animals in here so there's six different animals and I've used six of my grandchildren in there this is my daughter's idea so that we can put them in the circus cage so the animals I downloaded off the internet then cut them out put them on and then on the back I've just added a bit here so I can have the different children. So we have the giraffe. The zebra with another cut out at the top. And my granddaughter. And a bear with another cut out again at the top. One of my grandsons. The elephant, cut out, another grandson, the dog with another tag up there, another grandson, as you can see I have lots of grandsons, Oops. Uh, the camel and another grandson. So this was quite a good page, the children love seeing themselves in there that back later because that takes a while. Onto this page another deep pocket and these were made like like the bobblehead toys you have so you can just flick them and make them move. Two more tags fussy cut out on this one and added some glossy accents. Just two more photos. over to this page a pocket 
with a couple of the flowers cut out. The image here is cut out and glossy accented. Same both sides. This idea I got from Anne, Zanero 1. I will put a link to that. So you open there, or turn it around, and another picture. Um, she called it a magic card. Children quite like that one. On to the next page. Now I cut out the whole side of this with the clown, left it open for a pocket, put glossy accent on the clown and a couple of the flowers here. A couple more tags from the collection which have glossy accent on them. Two more tags. Fussy cut some of the images again. I did this on quite a lot of them. And glossy accents. Just two more photos. I sit in behind the clown. And over to this page, a pocket again with a decorative edge, three more of the flowers cut out. These are put onto a black card and also put on pop dots to put them up a bit. Uh, this one's an envelope, this one's another tag, a fussy cut some of the images and glossy accent with another photo. And then I made a little envelope with the tag on the top. Glossy accented over the image on that. Cut out with a scallop circle a bit on here. There's a little magnet here to hold this shut. Little circle cut out there to hide the magnet. And a tag in here. Again, fussy cut the images and glossy accent. And the photo on there. The next page. I made a strip here, a band, and put some of the um, stamps here, just staggered them. Some of them are 3D'd and some are just put on there, just to give it a bit of dimension. Cut out one of the tags again with some lines for writing and made just a little booklet so we can do some journaling in there. Then this is just a waterfall like from a waterfall card. You just pull that images change. Fussy cut out I hope you can see down there. Fussy cut out the clown on this one added a little pull there and some dimensional glossy accents again. On this page I have a little flap. These are chipboard animals. I can't remember who makes those. A decorative punch again. Just open it up with a couple of little bits from the paper line and then this is just set out like an easel card so it will stand up. And over here to the next page. I uh, just made a pocket here, some of the cutouts from the paper line, made a little booklet I use my binder doll to bind that. Glossy accents on them. Now I downloaded this again from the internet. So it has a little booklet in here where you can change the heads and the tails and the bodies to make things different. So I thought that was a bit of a fun thing for the children to play with. All in circus themes. And then over to this page, another pocket with a chipboard flower on it, cut out from the line, and a card. This is done like a penny card, if 
five cents in Australia. And I have to get it just right or he won't turn. Wait on. Of course it doesn't want to work. It does it every other time. There. And it, he will do his little somersaults. There. And inside another photo with a little pocket. Some of the stamps from the collection. Two more of the cutouts there. And then I just kept the back quite plain. So that's my Le Cirque album. I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Thank you very much.